All right, I always gets messy every time I start a project, but I do clean up each and every time. It makes so it's not too crazy in my head. But I just want to show you guys quickly. Uh, I'm building a version of my Gold Zero, uh, about portable. Um, same setup as in my Jeep. You know, same kind of connection, same kind of deal. Nothing complicated. Uh, using SAE connectors. I bought this uh, charge controller for 30 bucks from Amazon, $25, 700 watt. I think 700 watt, 750 watt, I think. Uh, about a thousand peak from Harbor Freight. I was gonna use it for the inverter. And it's messing here right now. But um, I kinda wanna show you guys this while it's messy. Um, just Jeep Homer box, ten dollars from Home Depot. This plan is solar comes in. Again, SAE connector. I'm a big fan. Same setup as my Jeep uh, and my truck. So I don't make it a standard connection for all my devices. I don't want to mix and match. So, so everything will work across the board. Um, actually, I can put this in back in my truck too, and have it charging put some kind of relay uh, or some kind of isolator. I don't want to buy the isolator, but I think I can make it work with some kind of relay switching. Um, got the lithium battery. Actually, it's a life PO battery. It's about 576 watt. Uh, it's about 45 amp hour. Um, Drill the hole. This is the output uh, little meter. Put a bunch of inline switches in there. Uh, I kind of started this last night. Um, and then I may or may put a couple more 12 volt sockets. Um, so, quickly, rough draft. Um, this is going to be my breaker switch going to my meter or maybe on a main line panel so I can switch it off so there's no current draw, voltage draw while it's off. Um, yeah, a bunch of wire connectors. I probably just use whatever I have laying around. Um, or extra connectors that I had, I cut up. Um, all right, it's part one. Let's see what happens. Thanks. It looks bigger than what it is. Um, it's a Homer box. I'm sure you can see this. It's not that big. There you go. 